Ladies and gentlemen, you know me as a chess as a chess creator and a chess giver, um, as a chess learner and as a YouTuber myself. Again, <clears throat> I have created another chess video for you today. Here, this is the weirdest game I have seen in my life, but it was actually impressive. Not gonna lie, there was some crazy stuff going on. There was some weirdish things going on. And in today's video, I'm showing you the worst chess bot versus the worst chess bot. Now, this isn't some uh, Martin versus Martin, which I got from Gotham Chess. I will do a video on that. Uh, um, props to Gotham Chess for that video. Um, and this is not Oscar versus Gotham Chess, which uh, Os Oscar versus uh, Mart, which I also got from Gotham Chess. Uh, thank you to him. I will not be using his video idea um, in this video. But today, I have done the worst chess bot versus the worst chess bot. Oscar versus Oscar. Who will win? Oscar, won Oscar White or Oscar Black? I have no proof of if he's black or white just he's playing oscar playing with the white pieces or oscar playing with the black pieces now let's see who wins this battle Alrighty, so the game starts off with um e4 and um c5 which is uh the sicilian defense i'm um, very popular um normally you would um normally you would see um a normally um e4 e5 stuff but let's go with but we're going on with this all right, so developing moves knight to c3. Good move by Oscar playing with the white pieces. And um, Oscar with the black pieces, I don't know what he's doing. He's already he's blocked in his bishop into one square. I don't know what he's doing. Queen can only come out. Knight can go randomly. Or another knight. I mean, it's just it's going on weird. So then they start off with um, g, uh, g3 and um, c6. Um, I don't really hate... Um, this position, it's not the best, but it definitely could have been better, but it ain't the worst, I'll say that, because, I mean, we all know, um, they like to play, um, uh, pawn to, pawn to, um, h4 or h3 to bring out that rook, um, in the early game, instead of castling, but, um, I don't really hate why it's the next move, um, g, oh my gosh, g2, um, Obviously, black, uh, not black Oscar. I don't have any proof of that, but Oscar playing with the black pieces. Um, I don't have, um, I don't really know what he's doing. Um, he finally was able to open up, his, open up his bishop, but not really put any development out. Um, he's definitely got a big pawn wall, but not much of anything. So we got, um, uh, <clears throat> Oscar playing the white pieces, um, moving, getting good development out, uh, protecting that pawn with two pieces, which, who does why you need to protect with two pieces? I feel like, um, he might be trying to, uh, maybe put his knight on, um, uh, on h3 or, um, f3, trying to maybe castle early, get a good defense, like, you know, kind of like a wall, I would say. Alrighty, so we go with, um, actually, um, Bish, uh, Oscar playing the black piece is going, um, a g7 here pretty powerful move targeting knight but um i guess white probably defended with um uh knight to uh e2 already awesome stuff right here we're already into a good game and so now white can castle white is ha white has more development pawn in the center um bishop and knight defending the pawn and a knight also defending the king from being completely checked so they he de he can castle to safety so now, White is basically winning right now. They have better development and have the right to castle. And they do. Right then and there. And then so, o Oscar playing with the, uh, the black pieces it goes a massive attack right now. I don't know, he's got like a pyramid on the right side. This is confusing. I've never seen this before. But we never see any of this stuff in, in a natural game unless you're playing with a natural 200 rated bot. Or 200 rated player. So, speaking of this, he goes with uh, the, the the nice attack of f5, targeting the <clears throat> the e4 pawn, which I don't know why you don't have anything else staring at that pawn besides a pawn. And that's just, like, white should take this. White should take on f5 to open up the center because they have better development and have a nice pawn wall. I mean, not nice, that's black. 
but <clears throat> um, but they can also open up the center, maybe launch a giant attack because they have a pyramid on the right side. But if we can break open that pyramid on the left or right side, we can definitely sneak in a knight or bishop in there to give a sneaky little check. Alrighty, so we go bishop defends pawn? I guess Oscar playing with the white pieces, that would be a good idea to defend the pawn by already defending the pawn. He pushes the pawn, he pushes the bishop towards the pawn to defend the pawn. That was already defended right there on G2. Don't, want your, don't know what you're doing, but you are not doing it right, buddy. All right, so then Black jumps in again with another sneaky, with another uh, launch attack on uh, D4. Um, I don't understand why you shouldn't really be going, you shouldn't really be jumping in when you have no other development of peace. Besides, you are protected by the bishop on the G7 square, but there's that's it. There's nothing else protecting you. And besides, we have better development, so all we have to do is take, bishop takes, or pawn takes, and then we just attack. Like, we can attack black right now. We are in a better position to attack, and our queen is still open, not even out in the game yet. <clears throat> so we got bishop back, then we have a fork! Oh, on the king and bishop! What a fork! I mean, there's legit, like, two people that can take this knight right here um and that we don't really need to know that so let's just keep on moving so queen takes in another attack with black onto the one pawn see this is where it gets spicy we have three defenders now on that pawn you are not taking that well i mean you probably could because we don't want to be taking it so actually no i i don't know what i'm saying i actually respect that move right there because you just, or you have two defenders on that pawn. We have three defenders on that pawn. We have two attackers on that pawn. But we have three defenders. But these defenders aren't pawns. They're pieces that we do not want to be trading off for pawns. So, I know what I'm saying. That's a great move, I would say, for Oscar right there. Then queen check. That is a spicy move right there, since the fact is also defended by the knight. But also, here's another killer move by Oscar playing the black pieces. Bishop to d7, defending the king and attacking the queen to make it retreat. This is a good move. This is what I've been wanting this entire game. That is a good move right there. Because not only are you defending the king and still having the king be able to have and still have the king able to the right to castle but also you are attacking the queen which means the queen cannot cannot go g6 a6 um it can't go a4 it can't go uh c4 it <laughs> c4 um it, there's a there's quite a few places they can't go so it'd have to retreat normally on the b file which or back towards the e2 square or the d3 square so that's also a very great move by um, Oscar playing the black pieces. Now, queen takes. This move, I mean, it does blunder a free pawn, but still, I think the move of defending, of attacking the queen and still being able to defend your queen is awesome. And Oscar playing the black pieces shouldn't really be trading queens down a pawn. I know it's down a pawn, it's a single pawn, but that could come in handy in the end game. So you probably want to preserve your queen. So obviously uh white takes cause up material and then rook takes, but also gets the rook active. But not really, because the only thing it targets is the <clears throat> B2 square, which is defended by the bishop, which you do not want to be trading a pawn for a rook. It's not a good ending. So then we have Bishop. From the G7 square, launching an attack. What a play. I bet normally people would not want, would not know that uh, bishops can go that far. So, takes the knight on the C3 square. And, of course, white pushes and then gets his bishop absolutely obliterated after that. So, then bishop back, knight there. Pawns going up, rooks. Uh, there, hey, there we go. There's the 200. There's the 200 from both sides. Look at this. So look at white side right now. A3 for the rook. There's the 200 or the 500, whatever you want to put it. Then for the other 200, 
you just gave up your king into the center and lost its right to castle by putting your king on the F7 square. I mean, this is this is what you would see in a 200 ring game. This is insane. I mean, so then pawns are moving, rooks are moving. I mean, yeah, there's another 200 play. King to H1. You are... You were up a pawn. You have better development. And you could possibly free up, like, a bunch of space. I mean, the best move, in my opinion, would play would be bishop to b5. Right now, because <clears throat> if you take with the bishop in the pawn, rook I the rook might slide down who knows but then there's another pawn if he doesn't there's a free there's another pawn right there um but i mean it's just it's just getting crazy there's another 200 play the king there we go there i called it bishop to b5 and the bishop runs back obviously um the 200 just went back and didn't even consider rook um to b5 to b5 after the pawn takes <clears throat> but what a move. And then the rook takes back. I mean, this is just... Pawns go... Oh, my gosh. Why are the kings moving? This should not be... Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. Why? Now you're just putting yourself in check. I mean, it's another pawn. But, I mean, oh, kings are moving. Oh, oh, no. Why? Why are you defending that pawn? There's nothing attacking it. <clears throat> I mean... <clears throat> I can't comprehend. My brain is absolutely malfunctioning. So, okay, pawn takes. Ro okay, there's a free, there's a free pawn, and that's a hanging knight. What? A hanging knight, and there we go. In check. Oh, he's oh he brings the rook over. Oh, whoa, check, check, check. Oh, or, no, they're not shuffling. They're not shuffling. They're, that, what was, what was that? What is that by black? What is that? Rook to F8, attacking the rook with no defender and giving up a check? Oh, rook slides in. Oh, oh, come on, come on. We're so close. Just a little more shuffling. No, no, it's um, oh no. Why? Why? Oh no. Now black is up and rook. Oh no, oh, no. Um, that's uh, that's oh no, no. Why you were winning? No, why? Oh no. Attack the rook. Oh yes. Okay. At least we have attacked. There's the rook, and there is the killer move right there sacrificing the rook <laughs> the rook so got props to got got them just for that the rook is off the board oh my gosh and a queen is made what a sacrifice of the rook and, of course, white is just absolutely confuzzled. I don't know what's going on. All right, check. All right. Oh, the king is locked down. Oh, and there we go. The killer move. Mate. Awesome job. I mean, I can't even, like, just this, the starting position. I mean, just, like. I mean, just like White was winning here. White was winning absolutely everything. White was winning everything. But then they just started crumbling down. I mean, like, just look at this. Look, they were winning. A rook, a rook. And now they're winning and then a defenseless rook. And then, and then a sacrifice of the rook. And a queen. And, I mean, just the kings are shuffling back and forth. And, I mean, just straight nonsense to the end. Alrighty. Go. That was Oscar versus Oscar. I mean, I was expecting this to go to, like, move 200 because they were 200 rated bots, whatever. But I was expecting 
it to be quite a long time, but we got to, like, move 68. That's insane. I mean, this is just crazy. I was not expecting this. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I will keep doing more of these chess videos. Also, quick 10-second thing of your life. I need, I need to just stay just, like, I'm in just somewhat, like, 10 seconds longer for the next. So, in 10 sec So, like, you know, sorry, one last thing. <clears throat> Subscribe. Uh, it's going to be right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. And just, it's awesome to make these chess videos. And for the last time, that was Oscar versus Oscar.